Good morning, T.O.P. Good morning. Amen. So we have a special guest in the house today, Sister Sherry Jones Moffat. But right before she comes, if you can pay attention to the screen for her bio video. Sherry Jones Moffat is a contemporary gospel singer, songwriter, and worship leader known for her powerful vocals and passionate performances. She first gained prominence as a member of the gospel group Donald Lawrence and the Tri-City Singers with her standout vocals on the song Encourage Yourself. Sherry has earned multiple awards and nominations, including Grammy and Stellar Awards nominations. T.O.P. Let's welcome Sherry Jones Moffat. Give it up! Praise the Lord, everybody. I give honor to the Lord for being here to Pastor McBride, to Bishop McBride, who's ministering at another campus, to my sister Roz. Aren't y'all blessed to be sitting up under that anointing right there? <laughs> and this anointing right here. That's all y'all got for your leader? I'm a pastor's daughter. My husband is a pastor's son. I solicit you with everything in me. When you get a moment, pray for your pastors. Because not only do they have responsibility for themselves, they're responsible for you. That's a lot to carry. And God has called them clearly to this place. Pray for them. Pray that God will cover and keep them and replenish what they pour out so that you can be fed God's word. Will you do that for me? Will you do that for me? I'm going to get to the song. I want to sing this first, though. What a fellowship. What a joy divine Leaning on The everlasting arm What a blessedness What of mine lean leaning on the everlasting on leaning oh I'm leaning will you find me safe and I'm secure from all along where you find me leaning. Oh, I'm to walk in this pilgrim way leaning on the everlasting on and oh how bright the path it grows from day to day leaning on the 
Almost 20 years ago, I was six months pregnant with my first child and only decided to go to New York a day or so before. Another artist had fallen out. They invited my god brother Ted and I. I'm the other half of Ted and Sherry. So they invited us to come and sing and I was also singing with my mentor, Donald Lawrence. Tri-City Singers. I was six months pregnant and in labor and had no idea I was in labor. I sang, bounced around on the stage, got back to my hotel, I called my husband, I said, something is wrong. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I need to go to the hospital. And I went to the hospital and they checked me out and I was nine centimeters dilated. Now, you know you don't get but one more after that. Ain't no rewind. 10 centimeters and the baby's coming. And the doctors were trying to tell me that at six months, there's just no way that a baby that small can live. You got some decisions to make. I said, I'm going to have this baby and... I'm going to trust God for the rest. And there she comes. She's born one pound, five ounces. And I'm going to give you an idea how small she was. My husband's wedding ring fit the length of her thigh. And while the doctors were saying what was, because you know something can be true and not be truth. True, she was small. True, she was premature. Truth, I had a word from the Lord. And sometimes when a word from the Lord is all you have, it's all you need. And look how God works. Turns out, because I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I live in Jacksonville now, but I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. And it turns out that in New York City, the hospital where she was, New York Presbyterian Hospital, turns out to be the best NICU in the world for premature babies. The doctor that invented the CPAP machine was my baby's doctor. So, <laughs> we stayed three months, we spoke life to her. So you're fearfully and wonderfully made. Go to sleep, dream about being healthier. Dream about being bigger. Now, I don't want to make no mistake. I'm a woman of faith, but I also am a human being. Now, I spoke life to her, but when my husband and I walked away from that isolate, we fell apart when we needed to. But while I spoke to her, because she took her cues from me, I told her who she was and who she needed to become. We stayed there three months, and she, she had some ups, she had some downs, but she grew every day, got stronger every day. And Lord knows I had enough breast milk to feed, feed the entire NICU. But she grew every day, every day. And while we thought we had great insurance, the marketplace didn't exist then. I'm self-employed, so what I thought was insurance turned out to be a medical discount plan. And we were about to be stuck with a $569,000 hospital bill. And I got indignant with God. I said, look here. You made me a promise, you saved my baby. Ain't no way you gonna take my life from me for a bill that I can't pay. So I find out only a few weeks before time to leave and be discharged that under New York state law, 
All I had to do was prove that I had been there more than two weeks. And under New York state law, if a baby is born under a certain birth weight, the government has to take care of the hospital bill. <laughs> So Tri-City was getting ready to record Finale that year. Donald wrote that song for someone else because he was there, he watched the whole thing and he was there in and out of the hospital. He said, the Lord told me to say this song for you. But when you get ready to sing it, this is what I need you to draw from. Because I thought my father was punishing us being in church seven days a week. But I didn't realize that I was making a deposit that I was going to have to make a withdrawal. So I'm telling you when I say it, solicit your prayers to pray for your pastors. Because every time it's a lot of y'all. Every time you get in trouble, they're not going to be able to come to each and every one of you. The congregation is too vast and too great for that. But what you can do is what they preach, what they teach. You can take the word of the Lord and activate it in your life. We live in a vocally activated kingdom. It matters what you say. Because everything you say does something. And everything you do says something. So I said all that to say, sometimes you have to encourage yourself. They ain't gonna be around when you're in trouble, but God is. Your own self on the back, yeah. 
Speak over yourself. 